Chief Father, are you sure I'm going to be okay? My son, this is not as terrible as it may seem. Believe me, it would be over very quickly, and then you won't feel a thing. But maybe they could do it another way. No, I'm sorry, my son. It has to be done this way. Be brave. I shouldn't have done it. Nothing's worth this. I'm afraid, Father. Trust me, it will be over in a moment. There, you have it. That'll be $30 for your Don King hair treatment. <laughs> you know, I had mine done a couple of weeks ago, but I think I could do with a touch-up. You don't have to give me the full voltage. Well, here, you hold my hat. You bet. <laughs> Live and direct from the Enzoville Animal Healing Pavilion, the most renowned evangelist in television history, the great and very reverend T.V. Sewell. Thank you, thank you. Excuse me for being a little late, but on my way out here tonight, I thought I stepped into something unmentionable. But when I wiped off my shoes, I found out it was only dog shit. <laughs> thank you, Mr. Music. And that reminds me, happy birthday, Mr. Music, and don't step in your present. <laughs> tonight is a special night for Ministry of Reverence Sewell. We're going to talk about our annual worldwide crusade and give you an idea of how we spent the $27 million you wonderful people donated to us last year and how we spread the good word. First of all, we started out last January and 40 of us flew to the Holy Land, the home of the Hebrews. Actually, it was the first time I'd ever been to Palm Springs. <laughs> anyway, from there, we went to San Quentin Prison in Northern California to visit our poor beleaguered brothers behind bars. You know what's interesting? I had never been to a prison before, yet all I've ever heard is that these places are filled with homosexuality and violence. Well, let me tell you, I saw no homosexuality. Of course, it's tough to see anything when you're being chased by a 300-pound black man with his pants down around his ankle. <laughs> Hold it, Mr. Music, you're giving yourself away. <laughs> I don't want to say that was a rough prison, but the man chasing me was the warden. <laughs> Where are you when I need you, Mr. Music? <laughs> From Cali too late. From California, we headed to the sin capital of the world, Las Vegas, Nevada. When we reached Las Vegas, many of our party were bitten by the devil and proceeded to get involved with all kinds of gambling, blackjack, rolling the dice, slot machines, keno, of course, yours truly would have nothing to do with the devil's tricks. So instead of gambling, I took all the children in our party to the back of the Sahara Hotel where we watched Wayne Newton take a shower. <laughs> and he said, but I am turned around. <laughs> And then that evening, the entire entourage went to see Don Rickles' nightclub show. I want to say something right now without being a prude. I personally cannot see the humor in making fun of one's color, in making fun of the size of a person's nose, of making fun of one's ethnic origin, of making fun of one's station in life. No, Mr. Rickles' bigotry is no substitute for humor. But what can you expect from some bald-headed Jew comic? <laughs> 
From Las Vegas, we went to the film capital of the world, Hollywood, and the first day we were there, we talked with a number of people in show business. Farrah Fawcett, Eric Estrada, Johnny Carson, Burt Reynolds, and Tom Selleck, to name just a few. We also saw a lot of people who weren't in show business. Tim Conway, McLean Stevenson, and Richard Dawson. And then we concluded our trip in the Haloa state of Hawaii. We toured the islands, saw the volcanoes, learned to do the hula, and the last day we were there, we had the greatest thrill of our entire trip. While standing on the beach in Waikiki at 10 in the morning, lo and behold, two of the biggest whales I've ever seen jumped out of the water, spouted water hundreds of feet into the air, and then with a resounding crash, dome back into the water on their backs, creating a virtual tidal wave. Natives of that island said in all their years of whale watching, it was the first time they'd ever seen Elizabeth Taylor and Orson Welles swimming together. <laughs> I'm sure it was Orson Welles because on the back of his ass he had a bumper sticker that said, Save the Wells. <laughs> Mr. Music didn't even like that one. Well, I can hear by the sound of the music, um, I said I can hear by the sound of the damn music <laughs> that it's time to go. <laughs> but before we go, I'd like to tell you what we've been doing with your cash. We spent $16 million on a couple of my new homes, <laughs> three million on cars, and the rest we wanted to spend to hire a talented star to come and entertain our ministry. But unfortunately, no talented stars were available, so we hired Alan Thicke. <laughs> You'll be excused if you don't come to services that day. Yours truly will be frolicking on the beach. But at least Mr. Music will be there. Well, I guess that answers that. Goodbye, thank you very much. seats because it's none other than Super Dave Osborne time. So let's go right now for tonight's stunt to Mike Walden with Super Dave Osborne. Thank you, John Biner. Hello, everybody. This is Mike Walden, and I'm speaking to you. Oh, wait a minute. Hold it. Hold it, guys. Hold it just a minute. Thank you. I'm speaking to you from the grounds which were supposed to be the site of the official dedication of the Super Dave Osborne Park and Playground for underprivileged stunt kids. <laughs> now, the reason I said supposed to be dedicated is that an hour ago we had a very unusual tragic mishap. Our cameras happened to be rolling at the time, and Super Dave was rehearsing for today's ceremonies. I believe the pictures speak for themselves. Uh, do we have that on tape, Jack? Okay, let's roll it right now, please. Okay, Jack, if you've got camera positions now. Okay, what I want you to do is please try to get this banner. Welcome, Super Dave Osborne. I don't want the people to see the cement truck. It doesn't look too good, all right? And then the governor will call me over to this area, and I'll walk over with Mike. Mike will walk behind like this, and then the governor will ask me to dedicate the park, all right? All right, I'm going to put my footprints and my handprints in this wet cement. All right, I'll show you what I mean. After I put my palm prints down, I'm going to autograph it with my finger. Best wishes, Super Dave. Okay? Can you get a shot of that? Maybe you'll be up high. All right, then I'm going to go to the baseball area. Mike, you'll throw a ball out and I'll hit one. All right? And that'll start the Little League game. Okay? All right, now, uh, this has been here a while, and this cement is not going to be wet enough because by the time we do this, it's gonna be dry, all right? So we're gonna need, uh, Ricardo? Yes. What we're gonna need here is more wet cement because this is not wet enough. I need more wet cement. Quando? I can't put my hands in the dry cement. No imprint. No comprende. I need wet cement. Out of here, wet cement so I can put my hands Ricardo. in the ground. Wet cement, more wet cement. 
Massimento, Massimento, por favor. No, no es eso. Alejandro, Massimento, por favor. No, no, no. Oh. What the fuck does that mean? He says, now you have enough wet cement for the palm print. Who gives a shit? Well, there you have it. That terrible, tragic accident happened less than an hour ago. They're currently Easy. trying to free Super Dave oh. without hurting him. That's my head. Do all of his visions of pain. Oh, I get a body part. Oh, not face down? Oh! <laughs> I'm hurt here. Super Dave, Super Dave, are you all right? I'm over here, putz. Back up, hurry up. Oh, easy, easy, oh! Super Dave, Super Dave, okay? You know, if shit were brains, you'd be Albert Einstein. Beautifully put, Super Dave. For a moment there, I thought you'd never be quite the same. Mike, help me, okay? My body parts are over there. I need some of them back. Help me right now, will you please, Mike? Yes, just when we think that Super Don't Dave may be really hurt, he right comes now. back and defies all ads no to prove once and for all what it is that millions Mike. throughout the world adore about this oh, great human you being. you an asshole. <laughs> Did you go get my private parts so I could piss all over you? And so, ladies and gentlemen, this is Mike Baldwin oh, nice. with an elated Super Dave Osborne returning apple. you to Bizarre. Help me here, okay, Mike? At least find my heart and lungs. I'm having trouble breathing. Madre de Dios, ¿qué pasó oh este God. pinche boy que está aquí en este time. hoyo? Oh, great. What did he say? He said he found your wallet and none of the money was damaged. <laughs> come on, Jose, I'll buy you a beer. Buy him a beer. Pots, come back, will you please? Don't cut yourselves crawling across the border, okay? <laughs> oh, no. About this chunk cement. Perfect! It'll also be good because it'll cover the spot where the dog shit. <laughs> Super A! Super, Super Day. Day! Hi, kids. I think it'd be better to step in the dog shit. Bizarre is very happy to introduce you to Japan's top telephone innovator inside his telephone store in White Plains, New York. Come in, White Plains. And the high line all going out to Lindale and... <laughs> oh! <laughs> Hello, listen to ball game. <laughs> My name is Kyoto Masaya, Japan's number one telephone designer. As you know, telephones play an important part in communication all throughout the world. That is why I devote all my time to invention of useful telephones. For example, I call this one here, the Harikari phone. Yes, it is, right here. Harikari, put your right here. You get your telephone bill, you open the bill with the Harikari right here. Like that. You take out your bill, you see what it is, then you, oh! <laughs> Disconnect phone and self at the same time. <laughs> okay, let's get on with this. Over here, we have a very, very wonderful phone here for people who live by water. It's called a fish phone, or I call it a sushi phone. It looks like a fish, it smells like a fish, and it acts like a fish. You're talking it, it's really made out of plastic, not really fish. Now you say, why if made of plastic does it look, feel, and smell like a fish? Beats the shit out of me. I don't know. <laughs> Oh, next we have terrific phone. You like this one, new one. Terrific combination, vibrator and telephone. I call it vibraphone or oh, telebrator. But you can call it viber or you can call it telly or you can call it phone or you can call it viber teller. Only don't ever call me collect. <laughs> oh, this phone really good. No matter who you talk to, you don't mind getting off. <laughs> We are very clever, very clever stuff. You stay there, phone. <laughs> here we go, very clever here. We call this telephone. He coming out now. Oh, good one. Ah, oh, yes, jello phone. This phone made completely of jello. 
Whenever it rains, you just pick it up and you say, you pick it up, you say, Jello. <laughs> Frustrations on telephone. She never called me back. What are you? Oh. Okay. Oh, a little bit of phone left, but not for long. Wait a minute. Doggy phone disappear. Wait, I bring her back. Next, we have right here Arnold Schwarzenegger phone. Okay. This phone, only thing this phone good for, you call your doctor. You say, doctor, I have big hernia from calling you. <laughs> okay. Wait a minute. He's back over here. Oh, okay. Oh, now we have very, very clever one. Over here we make room for. Here we go. This one called a chocolate phone. Right here. Ah. Look, a very clever. Wait. I have to get some of my phones from running out of here. <laughs> here. Stay phone, stay. Okay. Now this is a chocolate phone for those of you who took a nap between the other who. Now this phone very, very good, the chocolate phone. And you better be careful not to eat this phone because if you do, you will break out in area code. <laughs> See that? I have a 714 starting right here. See right here? Have a little 213 on the mustache, but mustache come up. Okay, where we go now? Ah, oh, great. Renee Richards phone. Okay. Renee Richards phone. Ah, oh, clever one. Have two receivers. <laughs> That's what you say. Hello, doctor. The operation didn't work. I'm doing that one work. Very clever, very clever. Oh, yes. And here before it runs off set, it's very clever one. This is my doggy phone. Right here. Doggy phone, also double as pet. One word of caution with this phone. Walk your phone first before using it. <laughs> also, always make sure you talk into end that box. Thank you very hello? much. Hello, hello, hello. <coughs> ah, hello, what is it? Oh, maybe, oh no, I'm not talking to that. <laughs> I know what it is. This is my Cheech and Chong phone ringing. Hello, boys. <laughs> I hear you loud and clear. This is good car phone for DeLorean, too. <laughs> See you later. Oh, boy.
Tonight, I'd like to bring out one of our cast members, Mr. Steve Weston, ladies and gentlemen. This man has been with us since the beginning, and his talent and his spirit that he brings to the show is much appreciated. Well, thank you, John. I appreciate You're that. You're welcome. And over the years, we've done some pretty physical gags with Steve, especially the last couple of years where we've clobbered him with a hammer. Can we show some of that, please? Mr. Johnson. I want that right here. Ah! This really hurt. Yeah, well, maybe I should divert the pain. Ah! Okay. So, Steve, in appreciation of your being such a good sport, I'd like to present you with the first Bizarre Golden Hammer Award. Oh, gee, John, that's beautiful. Thank you. You're welcome. And it's inscribed right there to Steve Wesson for bravery be above and beyond the call of comedy duty. Gee, I wish I had my glasses. Oh, well, here. Take a closer look. Oh, 